most probably understood the concept of zero and the place value system. It is considered that Arivat was familiar with the concept of zero and the place value system. He also used null coefficients and very rightly was aware of the use of zero in such place. Although nowhere in his works did he use the symbol of zero, French mathematician Georges Ypres argues that the existence and knowledge of zero were implicit in Arivata's place value system as a placeholder for the powers of 10 with null coefficients. Ifra based his supposition on the following two facts. First, the invention of his alphabetical counting system would have been impossible without zero or the place value system. Secondly, he carries out calculations on square and cubic roots which are impossible if the numbers in question are not written according to the place value system in zero. This is an incredible achievement for the time and one of the earliest proper understanding of the concept of zero which is fundamental to mathematics. In Ganita, Arivata names the first 10 decimal places and gives algorithms a step-by-step -step procedure for solving a problem or accomplishing some end. For obtaining square and cubic roots using the decimal number system, decimal system also called Hindu-Arabic number system. It is called as positional numeral system. 10 is taken as the base. 10 different numerals, the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are required. It also requires a dot decimal point to represent decimal fractions. In this scheme, a number takes different place values depending upon position. In a base 10 system, the number 543.21 represents the sum 5 into 10 is to 2 plus 4 into 10 is to 1 plus 3 into 10 is to 0 plus 2 into 10 is to minus 1 plus 1 into 10 is to minus 2. Positional numeration The positional decimal system with the inclusion of 0, the one we use today, has the advantage of allowing us to write any number with only 10 different digits that is from 0 to 9, which makes it easier to operate with very large quantities. In contrast to, for example, the Roman numerical system based on the letters I, V, X, L, C, D and M, which represents the number 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 500 and 1000. In positional system, the value of each digit depends on its position within the number. For whole numbers, starting from right to left, the first digit corresponds to the units, the second corresponds to the tens, the third to the hundreds, and so on. For example, 5876 equal to 5000 plus 800 plus 70 plus 6. This is the place value system of Aryabhat. The digit has value according to its place. It is written from right to left. For example, in this case, the last digit at unit place Ekamsthani is 6. So its value is 6. Similarly, the digit at second place, that is 10th place, Dashamsthani is 7. So its place value is 10 into 7 equal to 70. Though its face value is 7. The digit at third place, that is 100th place, Shatamsthan is 8. So its value is 100 into 8 equal to 800, though the face value is 8. And the digit at fourth place, that is 1000th place, Sahasramsthan is 5. So its value is 1000 into 5 equal to 5000, though the face value is 5. In non-positional systems, for example, the Roman system, a symbol always has the same value. 
regardless of the position it occupies, which requires such a large number of symbols or the large numbers that it becomes impractical to perform operations with them. For example, in Roman numerals, 5,876 is M M M M M D C C C L X X V I. So you have seen how difficult it has been.